Hey guys. I'm in South Toronto now. And I want to show you guys this uh, place here. There, there's actually two places over here that I'm going to show you. And this one is the Polytechnic University of Toronto. That It's that building plus the one over there and that one, at least. And I think they probably have some other buildings, but you can see this is a very nicely landscaped straight here. And you have, at the end of this, you have the Skanderbrick Square and Monument there. And it's not that far. You can actually see it from here. It's maybe one kilometer, maybe 0.75 kilometers. And then around here, on this side, you've got a government building here. And then you've got some other government buildings scattered up and down this avenue here. And I'm going to show you guys. You'll see a lot of students around here. And there's actually not a sign on the... You can see that building doesn't have any sign on it. So it's kind of hard to... I actually had to go and figure out what that, that building was just from Google Maps. And this uh, sign over this side over here is like some it's a different section of the university. Some science building there. Um, and then you've got behind that with the red on it is some kind of a stadium or theater. And then I actually live about one kilometer to the left there, so that my neighborhood has a lot of students in it. And so you kind of see, if you're here, you kind of see a lot of people walking back and forth there. And behind this, there is a park. And I'm going to show you guys that just going to walk a little bit here but they also have a bus stop I've seen some buses that go to Germany here and some other locations around Albania there's one let's see where, what that is called Kufa Rise I'm not sure what that is but so yeah you can take a bus across Europe but I'm not sure on the Coronavirus requirements there. And one, actually, one point about that. I mean, it's great if you uh, have, uh, you don't have any baggage if you're going with a backpack, but for me, uh, I, when I was moving uh, to some of the time, I took my big bags on the bus. So it's kind of iffy if you get accepted with that because. Uh, in my case, I've got three jumbo suitcases. I did have two, now I've got three. And I've got a bicycle and a backpack. So some bus lines don't take a bicycle. Um, so you just have to ask them, you know. Um, I actually got lucky when I was going to uh, Montenegro. I just went and asked, you know, from Serbia to Montenegro. Uh, went and asked... Uh, if they accept that amount of luggage, they, how much they charge, you know, per bag. And they didn't charge that much. They only charged like one euro per bag. And plus the bike is a one euro, you know. So some lines won't accept that. And the other risk on that is whether it gets stolen or not, you know, while. But I was just watching closely. But... Over here to Albania, I think I mentioned before that I actually took a private cab. And that was like 105 euros. Um, which was much easier for me just because, you know, have the guy show up there. He loads the luggage in his car. Uh, then drives me past the border with me and him, you know, showing our passports plus COVID test. And then door to door, you know unload my stuff for me at the new hotel 
So this uh, entrance here, you'll notice that there's not really any sign here. So I just kind of had to guess that this was the entrance to uh, Grand Tirana Park here, which is, it's a nicely landscaped. They've got some playgrounds for kids. Um, they have an artificial lake on the other side, and I'm actually going to go see if I can't walk all the way there. You should have to go over the top of this hill to get to it, or you can go around the other way. And you see you've got some planted uh, trees there. And it looks fairly green. But yeah, so the weather, and I'll give you guys, yeah, you can see it's still good, so October 31st. The weather here uh, is, it's like a continental climate, like a uh, mid-Atlantic in the U.S. You know, it is uh, cold at night, like 42 degrees, so you'll need a heater in your room. Uh, I actually was staying in some place without a heater, and I was like, I've got to get out of here. Right, that was actually my first uh, guest house there. And... I was literally freezing at night, so I was like, you know, get someplace monthly, then find a heater there, uh, which I did. But if you're going out at night, you're probably going to need a coat and jeans and a hat. And, you know, I've been trying to buy some stuff for my wardrobe there. Um... But during the day, it's like 70 or something like that, you know. So, and my landlords told me that, you know, during winter, January, it gets colder, you know. So, 50s uh, Fahrenheit. So let's go this way. So yeah, this park is not quite as good as someplace like Ada Signalogia in Belgrade. That's more, you know, this is more, I would say it's similar to Prospect Park in Brooklyn because it's kind of, you know, big and uh, it's got a lot of trees and a lake in it. So you've got a restaurant over there. You've got another restaurant over here. You've got, uh, there's one along the lake that's usually really crowded here. So let's see, I'm going to cut through here, and I should be able to see the lake. It's kind of like uh, Central Park in which, in case there's no straight lines, you know, there's no, it's just a bunch of curves. Let's see here. Let's 
So you got some kind of amphitheater here. Let's see. So I'm just gonna walk down. And there's a the lake right there. So yeah, I'm just cutting through this. I don't know why they don't have a path here. But, let's see. So let's see here. So yeah, this is... Here's the lake here. So it's the weekend now. That's why there's people here. If you come on the weekday, there's not that many. So if you go across the lake here, uh, this is an artificial lake with that little dam there. On the other side, you've got some more city buildings and uh, mountains there. Not huge mountains, but there are some mountains there. And if you go all the way over, the other restaurant is on up against the road here. And when I usually walk home, I usually cut this way just because you can get away from this hill here. some ducks there. Alright, I'm going to cut the tape and head on up the other way.